guess just confusion yeah. as to how big the impact will be. Yeah, so you just heard from the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell. It looks like they're now inflation fighters and inflation focus, and it's really become too big of a problem to ignore if you're looking at inflation at the fastest in 30 years. And this really surprised the market. You heard Jerome Powell and Jay Powell there, Neil, saying that maybe we need to taper back, wind down the $120 billion in monthly bond purchases a lot faster. So instead of $15 billion a month, we might cut it to $30 billion. At least that's what, what Wall Street and is And we should explain what they do this they've been buying up all this paper for what the better part of a decade on and off and 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 forcibly keeping interest rates low now to unwind that and now apparently speed it up yes yeah, that it rattle up. folks that's right? right so if you think about it if you're cutting back on 30 billion dollars a month in monthly bond purchases that means that we could get an interest rate hike in march instead of in june and you heard from mohammed el arian of Allianz all weekend long right. talking about policy mistakes from the federal reserve because as i mentioned to you bull markets don't die of old age they die of unforeseen events like COVID or policy mistakes from the Federal Reserve. But, you know, there's so little we know about this variant, yeah. right? We do know that it just came out of nowhere right. and it, it ravages. Lots of mutations, but the, yes. the fact of the matter is it is not as severe, at least that we know of yet, yeah. but the fact that it could maybe stymie activity, slow our post-pandemic coming out party, yeah. that's what's rattling Well, nerves guys. were already rattled this morning. We heard from Moderna CEO saying right, that their right. vaccine might be less effective. They may not get a targeted booster developed anytime soon. Now, do you listen to the Moderna CEO or the Pfizer CEO, Berla, who's so we are already we're already developing this targeted new vaccine. It could be ready to go in less than 100 days. I think the markets were already scared that maybe this uh, the vaccine makers don't have a solution just yet. Yeah, and we've often said in these kind of situations, markets sell first, and you know, ask questions, ask later. questions later. We have no evidence that this is even a problem in Africa, for example, where the, the South African leader was saying, you know, we have had a spike in cases, but none of these have been very, very serious. Right. It's still the newness of it that's. And also, that's you, you have to remember, we're in a market right now where there are so many new investors right. that buy the dip. They don't know what a market downturn looks That's like. Right. And they've been encouraged, by the way, that every time there's been a market downturn, 600 points down, 900 points down, that somebody, maybe the Fed will step in or people will go in to bargain hunt and buy. What was interesting was Jerome Powell acknowledging that inflation is no longer transitory. Well, he says it's a good time to retire the word yeah. transitory. You think? I can see you going, hmm. hmm. I'm glad you finally <laughs> up to that. All right, thank you, Susan Lee, very, very much. In the meantime, the administration.